I'm here at Lovely, Texas. I have uh, beaver and nuggets to go through. Uh, what's up with the big gas stations I heard this come Brother, from? Brother, it's a must. When you're in Texas, you stop at Bucky's. So we have one of the guys came in and said, Dimitri, this one is for you from gas station. Never have a gift from gas station. Yeah, Walmart like 150 pumps. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's bigger in Texas. <laughs> I'm about to see how it tastes, but um, let's start the interview. My name is Das, D-O-S, Rousseau, and uh, I'm from South Africa. Uh, my story relates a little bit to Dimitri's. I arrived here in the U.S. with a, uh, with a backpack. I consider myself the most blessed man on the earth. Uh, we started the business officially in, uh, as Clean Cut Roofing back in 2005, and uh, uh, that's how we started. How many employees do you have? Seventy, sir. 70 employees. 70 employees. What's your weekly payroll? Hovers right out 50, 55,000. 50,000 every week? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, how much is your work comp bill per week or per year? How much say again? Work comp. Work comp work bill. Oh, work was comp. Uh, last year, probably right at uh, 75,000. 75,000? For the year, yes, sir. It's not a lot. No, we, we, no, let me say, because we've had workman's comp for almost 10 years, the rate continues to come down. And we get, we get rebates every year. So last year, I think I rebates got Rebates from work comp? From Texas Mutual, yes, sir. This is not very good. No. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no. Texas Mutual will, will give you money back if you keep your record, uh, you know, no claims, so forth. Safety. We follow some safety. Uh, What's the biggest uh, workers' compensation bill you ever paid? Like per year? Probably, probably around eighty or so. Eighty, 80 ninety thousand, maybe. Yes. I mean, that's not too bad. If no, have, no, if you no, have it's seventy not. employees. It's yeah. like one thousand per year per employee. But there is other trades involved besides roofing. I think that comes into play a little bit. But still. So but, yeah. how, how much do so everybody you, is classified? Sure. Yes. But you have forty roofers. Yes, sir. So how much forty roofers roughly cost you? Probably more. I mean, still, even if, it, okay, if you have forty roofers, and seventy-five thousand is your total, it's still no more than two thousand dollars per roofer. So it shows you it can be done. A lot of people say it's too expensive, but I, I, I totally disagree. Again, now when you start out with Workman's Comp and you don't stick okay. with the same company, it's going to cost you a lot Let's more. Let's go to the next question Our then. first year, I think our rate was uh, right at 20%. How now much, it's under. How much a roofer can make in your business per year? Uh, on the roof? Like per my, year, like, yeah. you know, if, I, if I'm a roofer, you would hire me. Would you hire me as a roofer? Yes. <laughs> okay, how much can I make in your business? 50,000, 55,000. 55,000. And, and I only would cost you one, 2,000 per year in work comp. That's, that's very low. It's like office employee in most. I don't know. How did you crack the code? Because that's the biggest question. That's what everybody wants to know. I think it's longevity. I think it's longevity. But 10 years ago, how much were you paying 10 years ago? So our first year when we probably had 10 employees, the bill was Probably ten, twelve thousand dollars. Might, might, might be. Uh, but it's still thousand dollar per yeah, year. Yeah. It's still, still very low. Yeah, but percent. back then our, our highest employees was probably paid less than thirty for the year. I mean, I pay for office employees probably for my office receptionist. I pay like sixty dollars per month. That's like eight hundred bucks per year. I'm, I'm talking about girl who's answering phone calls. Try Texas Mutual. I guess I'm advertising for Texas Mutual. Okay, <laughs> Texas Mutual, link below. Okay. Um, who was the first employee you ever hired? Uh, his name was Yali Sosa. What did he do? He uh, was on the roof. Uh, expert, expert installer, uh, flat roof torching work, a, a lot of flat roof work. That was his expertise. Do you have general manager? Yes. Well, when I say general manager, we have a production manager, which is still Yali Sosa. Then we have an operation. Oh, so your first employee now is your... Yes, sir. Yes, How sir. long have you been with the company? Uh, Since the beginning. Yeah, 15 years. 
Oh, so he runs the show now? He runs the production. 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 Do and you have we have an operations manager, which is an, more, almost an assistant to him. You know, just, just between our sales and our production, we have an operations well, What's team. your pay structure for a position like that? Somebody in the management, like somebody at the top, like operation manager, production manager, how do you pay them? Is it a bonus? Is it salary? Salary. Salary, salary. per year? Yes, sir. Any incentives on production? No, we struggle with that. You know, because we pay by the hour and we pay salaries, we struggle with incentives. Uh, you know, you might have some thoughts on that. But no sales incentives? Our salespeople are paid a uh, percentage on their gross sales. Sure. So they, like their for, pay fluctuates. Like, obviously. for example, if your business does, what are you going to do this year? Seven million? Yeah, well, so well we you, did seven last year, so we should be about eight or nine. Okay, so if you did seven, what if you do 15? No incentives for people for operations and production, like if they because they have no, no, you know, no, that's a good point. I, our 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 growth now ask, is asking for that, obviously, and I, sure. I just have to discover the what's fair. Yeah, and with our uh, production uh, and uh, operations software, we we're hoping to get to where we can do some more measuring, so that we can reward you know the foreman who are on salary and reward the production guy and the operations guy because they don't they don't get the Richie might have some input there if I could add the guys the growth that we've experienced over the past 15 years everyone's been a part of that growth so while there may, may not be a structure in place on how to incentivize it the guys that are the foremen today that are receiving salaries they're, they're job foremen they're on every job they're all paid more today than they were a year ago when the company so they've everyone pretty much has grown with the company um, in their skill set or with their pay so it's well they're not may not be a so salary is growing but there's no incentives if company does more it's just guaranteed pay like in communist countries <laughs> no i'm, I'm with you I look I, I mean, i'm I, communist I, to the core so salary yeah, to right. everybody hourly rate to everybody <laughs> right. screw the company goals it's not for us no i'm with you on that and, and it's something we talk about you know uh how how to how to do that with our model of business is just is for me it's, it's challenging what i would recommend is because i'm in the same position i have four people who are salary so what i would do uh, I don't know if it's possible for you, but I would tie their salary to certain number and everything above it gets, like for example, if you did 7 million last year, do 7 million as a base for the salary. And let's say if you do 9 million, pay them like point, point, you know, point, point five, like $5,000 bonus for each million after that. So now if you do 8 million or 9 million for each additional million, they get $5,000 bonus. Not a salary increase, but it's a bonus. It's a bonus, but salary is also attached to a certain base, you know, same numbers last year. Or just in, like in communist countries. Like just in communist be countries, better, you just move up. Yeah, just yeah. just <laughs> give them be better pay and hope you'll, you'll get an increase in sales. Okay. Um, how many managers do you have right now? When you say managers, you're referring to... So you have operation manager, production manager, yes. then you have somebody in the office? Then we, we have uh, three ladies in the office, okay? So we have a lady that solely answers phones. Then we've got a lady that's uh, accounts payable, also answers phones. And I've got a lady that's HR and accounts receivable. Uh, and so those are, the th and they're also, they all answer phones as well. Okay. So I know you're not gonna like that probably, but. It works for us right now. Well, it's a team yeah. effort. Phone yeah. ring, somebody have to answer. Yes. It's easy. I, yes. I agree And with so you. they're all in the system and immediately makes appointments. So those, those are all in the office. And of course, we've got our sales team or, you know, sometimes we would refer to them as project managers instead. Okay. And there's, uh, there's uh, six, six guys that are selling and, and also project managing. How do you train new installers? If I want to install for you just a labor on the on the ground, How, what's your installing pro, uh, process? So training? we, so any new employee gets put with an experienced foreman, obviously, and that foreman then will put him with an experienced his best roofer. So training starts on the job. It starts. It starts on the job. Yeah. It really does. So you don't have like props to build like this is how this is shingle. 
This is how, you know, it just, we, you we, go on the job. We do have a prop built and we do use that to do some specific training. But as you well know, you know, I mean, on any roofing job, there's immediate work for the guy that sure. knows no, nothing, I get it. right? So, I was just curious. So sl slowly moves up. Uh, Tyler's a good example of, of how it works. We recently had a, um, a younger employee, when I say younger, um, he was, he's a teenager. He's working for the summer, and he's uh, showed initiative, and that's kind of what the foremen are looking for. He went out and they bu he bought a hammer, bought a pouch, and now he, bu he bought a roofing gun, and we kind of leave that up to the to them to kind of decide whether how far along they want to go. Some guys are just happy never buying a roofing gun. They just cut the shingles and move things around and. But uh, you've got the, you can see it with the guys who want to get up there. They want to nail the shingle. But they, yeah. Okay, next question. <clears throat> um, how does the, it's uh, from somebody from the class today. How does a brand new company start with the EE model? What if you don't have the cash or sales volume to support employees? So brand new company. Yeah. So I for, and for this interview, can you explain what EE e model is yeah, first? Because for me, the EE e model means excellent employees. So versus SS, which would be sales sub, uh, right? So excellent employees. Uh, I think just like I started it, and you you referenced uh, repairs today. So I think a great way for somebody with skills, me, you, nobody else, to get into the roofing industry would be through repairs. And that's how I started Clinka. Uh, I, I went to the bigger companies uh, in our town and I said, hey, I'll do your repairs. But how does a company start hiring employees, you know, when you don't have well, a cash Well, if they can't flow? afford to do it, then they can't do it. I mean, if you're selling a job and, you, and you've and you got all this time between selling your next job, you have time to do the repair yourself. So just do it yourself. Yeah, do yeah, the yeah, repair yeah, yourself. And the... That's what I did too. Like I, my watch first employee. Watch a YouTube video. A lot of these guys. I am my first employee. <laughs> watch well, a Dimitri. Answer is watch YouTube videos first <laughs> and start hiring. Yes, that, thank and, God for YouTube. And do it yourself. And then before long, you'll be so busy, you have to hire somebody. And yeah. if you're that busy, you can afford to hire somebody. Yeah, and you get a break, you get a nice but contract. But at least now you've done it before. You know what it takes. You know what to expect from somebody else. A lot of these guys don't even know what their subcontract is going to do to complete that repair, and so they don't know where to price it. Love it. So I think the repair industry is a great opportunity to enter the market. And yeah, as a, it's as not as competitive. A, nobody wants to do it. No, nobody. And, and it's, uh, I mean, you were right on, man. I mean, I learned from that. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah, right on, right on. Okay. Um, how many crews do you have? I know you have a lot of 40 employees, but how many crews and how many guys per crew? So, so our crews will vary in size from anywhere from four to sometimes as many as 12. Okay. okay? So I mentioned to you that we have painters and carpenters um, and, and some other trades, but we will, we will boost our, our crews based upon the need of the job. And so, but I'd say on the average, there's six or seven guys in the crew. Am I right when I say that? Sometimes and, uh, as little as four. Yeah, and-, and um, Or three, depending yeah. on the job. And, and so- uh, The operations manager and the production manager the day before, look at all the jobs coming up and decide we only have two more squares on this job. Sign and them up. So you don't have like build crews who pretty much, hey, you're on this crew today, you're on that crew today? We, you know, of course our foreman likes the same guys in their crew, right? And they get attached and, and, and that's great. I think that's great to build that team. Sure. And, and the pretty much I would say each foreman probably, there's, there's two or three maybe guys that stick with them and, and, and my production guy knows that, right? Sure. So, but they'll supplement and there'll be a new employee we need to train and so, so uh, you know, it's not five or six or eight guys always the same, no. You know, we did a school between, for example, we did a school between uh, Christmas and New Year, okay? And uh, we did, we did, the, uh, we put 40, we put all, all of our people on there, on, on that school, you know, 800 squares, but, Done in eight but it was a beautiful thing, you know, I mean, beautiful thing, yeah, yeah. did it, done. Love it. Big, big, uh, big occasion, but uh, so. What's your safety protocols? Like, how much you spend on the safety training, OSHA? Do you have posters everywhere? Do you start your day with a 
I've, I've seen a company in Canada, they literally, every morning before they even start the job, they have to go through protocol. Do you have, how, how deep do you go on the safety? We're getting better at it. We've recently sent four of our guys to the 10-hour uh, OSHA safety training. And I have other employees who's done that in the past. So we encourage that. Uh, the OSHA material that's out there between Texas Mutual, of course, they encourage us to follow the OSHA rules and so, but we don't have daily meetings. We have weekly meetings with our whole, well, with our foreman and leadership, and then I have monthly meetings with the whole company. And there's always something about safety in those meetings. Our production manager is very, very aware and keen on, on safety. Uh, coming from the north, you know, where things were much steeper, where there was uh, much more control. Sure. Uh, that's the environment he grew up in as a roofer, and so he's done well in, in uh, implementing safety. In our, in our. So I think it's come from the top down, right? So your, your, your guy that's in charge, your foreman, if they don't care about safety, then... Have you ever had accidents? We've, like had, we've had minor, minor. Yeah, we've, had, we've had guys fall off roofs, but no serious injuries. You know, no serious injuries. Um, yeah, and, 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 and that might how, how, how did they fall off the roof? Not tie down? Do you always tie down, like on every roof, or no. where do you feel? No, for me to say that we do. Yeah. No, now the guy that fell off, he was getting, he was the first guy on the roof. It was in the morning, there was still dew on the synthetic felt, and uh, they were testing whether or not they could get these tow boards up. So, I mean, they were getting, tow, getting ready to put tow boards up. Do you a, still go on the roof? I do. Do, not, you, do you tie yourself off when you do? <laughs> So we if, did they, a, if they give me a rope, I will. Talking about it from top down. <laughs> so we were just, we, we had a quipter out on a job, right? And everybody was tied off. Um, it was a 14-12. At some point, there's no question. Yeah, 14-12, you kind of have to. You kind of have to. I'm talking really. about 4-12. How many employees are going to be tied off on the 4-12 roof? You'd have to come visit the job and tell them you're from OSHA and see. <laughs> <laughs> I want to look, look, uh, you know how it is with it, with with the guys that's doing the work, you know, and there and and as you and why uh, we we both know there are there are some of the OSHA rules that are just not practical. They're just not. I you agree. Know? They're just not. Sometimes it's yeah. Yeah, they're, they're not. If you feel good, if you feel, I mean, I do handstand walks on the roofs and I feel, <laughs> I feel great. I've seen the video. It's pretty <laughs> impressive. <laughs> so, I you know safety is obviously important to us, but. Uh, to say that we're able at this point to follow every rule that's out there, no, that would not be honest. But that is the goal. We that talk about goal. it daily. How yeah, it's the we... goal. It's the goal. It's the goal. We give out. You like press we... toward, towards it, you know. A lot of the guys are stuck on this idea, well, if I follow all the rules, there's no way I'll get the production that you want me to have, you know. If I get tied off, I won't be able to produce like I'm paid to produce. Okay, the last question. Yes. Give one advice to somebody brand new, just starting a business today. One advice would you give them, brand new business owner who just started a roofing business? They don't know nothing about the business yet. Advice from Clean Cut. All right, well, I'd say I'll figure out why you want to do it. Figure out your, yeah. your reason the why. why. The why. Wow, thank you so much, yes, guys. Sir. It was a pleasure. Richard, sir. Pleasure. pleasure with you. Thank you for having us. Whoever gave this to me, it sucks. I hate it. You don't like the taste? I ate a whole bag of that one time in about 80 miles. <laughs>